you walk along the southwest coast path, there's some truly stunning views, and it's all down to the special nature of the geology. Here's just a tiny taste of some of the treats in store for you along the way. The jewel in the crown is the Jurassic Coast, stretching 95 miles from Exmouth to Old Harry Rocks in Dorset. It's truly a walk through time, giving you a glimpse of 185 million years of the Earth's history. So, um, what is so special about the Jurassic Coast? Well, one of the things that makes the coast so beautiful, of course, is the landforms and the way the different rocks as you go along the walk through time have responded and reacted to erosion and to the waves of the sea. And so we have a collection of all sorts of different types of coastal landforms. So we've got fantastic sea stacks at Ladrum Bay in East Devon and Old Harry Rocks near Swanage. Also the iconic Durdle Door with beautiful Lulworth Cove just next door to it, that quintessential horseshoe shaped cove. And then of course the jewel of it all is Chesil Bank, the 17 mile long natural barrier beach, um, which is one of the best examples of a natural barrier beach in Europe. So if I'm walking the coast path, where can I go to look for fossils? Well, the best place to go fossil hunting is definitely Charmouth. Um, it's safe, the rocks and the cliffs are very soft, so they're constantly being worn away by the sea and the waves and the rain. Fossils tumble out and they're just lying loose in amongst the shingle. The Jurassic Coast is amazing, but there's plenty more to see and do on the southwest coast path. Here are some of the highlights. Along the coast path from the Jurassic Coast is Tor Bay and the English Riviera Geopark. The Geopark is obviously remarkable because it's been designated for its remarkable geology and it has a record going back 400 million years into red deserts, the red cliffs from Permian geology and tropical reefs from the Devonian, the grey limestones there jam-packed with fossils of corals and brachiopods and all sorts of other things. Next, west to Cornwall and it's amazing granite. The granite was intruded about 280, 300 million years ago as very hot molten rock that has since cooled down. And because of all that heat, groundwater gets heated up at depth and that dissolves a lot of minerals. And as the groundwater rises up to the surface, it cools. And what we find in Cornwall is that there's lots of precipitation of minerals. So things like the ores of copper, tin and lead. And of course, those are exploited by miners. Now, that landscape, particularly around Penwith Peninsula, the mining landscape there is part of a World Heritage Site that recognises its global importance. Next, the lizard and the most southerly point of England. Well, the lizard is made up of very bizarre rocks that were scraped off a piece of ocean crust as it was subducting 375 million years ago. And because it was scraped off in that way, it's made up of very deep lying rocks that aren't normally exposed to the elements, the oxygen in the air, the rain and so on. And when they're exposed, it becomes something called serpentine, which is all sorts of vibrant colours, red, blue, green, and it's carved into ornaments and jewellery and almost as a semi-precious stone. Following the coast path in North Cornwall, you find Pentire Head, also known as the Rumps. The Rumps at Pentire Head are actually remnants of submarine volcanoes that are about 370 million years old. They were erupting under the sea, um, spewing out lava into the water. And when hot rock, when lava spews out into cold water, it cools very quickly and creates a very distinct shape called pillow lavas because they look a little bit like lumpy pillows. And all this was happening because at that time there was a subduction zone, that is, the oceanic plate was disappearing underneath the continental plate and creating a lot of molten rock that was spewing up into the surface. Finally, further along the coast to Millock in North Cornwall. Millock is spectacular and actually you only need to look at the cliffs to understand that something pretty immense has happened here. The rocks would have been deposited as horizontal layers on a seabed, but during a time of mountain building between 280 and 300 million years ago, they were compressed into these extraordinary chevron folds. Those are just some of my favourites, but there's much, much more for you to discover. There are hundreds of walks available from our website to download for free. And if you want to discover more about geology, simply select Geology for a full list of walks along the southwest coast path. Happy walking!